Good morning, Ospreys. You're watching UNF Now on UNF Media, where we bring you all the campus and Jacksonville news you need now. I'm Devin DeGantz. And I'm Hannah Stopchuk. Did you happen to catch that game last night? I was actually at Milano's watching it, but I didn't catch the end. I heard there's something about the refs. Yeah, they made a crazy call at the end of the fourth quarter, but you'll hear more about it in sports. But first, we'll get back to news. Pi Kappa Phi is hosting their 17th annual cycling event to St. Augustine on October 13th. It is a 25-mile cycling event that journeys from Jacksonville to St. Augustine down A1A. The goal of the trip is to raise money and raise awareness to support the National Service Project of Pi Kappa Phi's fraternities, Push America. Pi Kappa Phi will be tabling all throughout the week, and sign-up ends September 30th. It's a great way to give back to the community and still have fun biking with your friends. This Wednesday, UNF Aquatic Center is opening the pool from 8.30 to 9.30, exclusively for all UNF students. Just swipe your Osprey One card for swimming, water jogging, water polo, and water football. Bring together all your friends for a fun and fit activity. Do you wish to gain skate experience or enhance your skills? UNF Student and Faculty Skate Park is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day of the week. It's located north of the UNF campus, out by Lot 18. All you need is your Osprey One card for verification, and all the different ramps and pipes are all, of all skill levels are yours. The weather today is a little warmer than yesterday. Let's see what the weather has in store for us today with your UNF Now weather report. Every Tuesday, the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens has free admission for everyone from 4 to 9 p.m. You can enjoy special exhibitions, participate in hands-on art-making activities, or just take a stroll in the historic Cummer Gardens. Every Monday, Milano's on Kernan is bringing back their famous college night. $2 drafts, $3 wells, $5 pitchers, $1.50 slices, and 50 cent wings. It starts at 9.30, ending at 1 o'clock. Monday night football is playing on their jumbo plasma screens, and beer pong will be set up inside. So come and enjoy food and company every Monday night. Please drink responsibly. Now, let's see what the world of sports has for us today. Here's Hanno Stopchuk with your Enough Now Sports Report. With your UNF Now Sports Report, I'm Hannah Stopchuk. A revenue meeting took place Monday morning in Toronto regarding the current state of the National Hockey League. The NHL and the NHL Players Association plan to discuss possible hockey proceeds. Gary Bettman, the commissioner of the NHL, not only neglected to show up for the meeting, but told the Board of Governors that he was planning to cancel the Winter Classic later in November because he does not want the players to use the game as leverage. The New Year's Day hockey event has served as a transitional point into the NHL season as the conventional game has gained rapid popularity since its initial start in 2008. To kick off 2013, the Detroit Red Wings and the Toronto Maple Leafs were expected to play in front of a record-breaking crowd of 110,000 plus fans. Nothing will be concrete until the end of November. Until then, the lockout is still in action as the players and fans count today as the official 10th day of the exclusion. This is the league's fourth work stoppage in the last 20 years. According to the Associated Press, the NHL officials aren't the only ones talking lockout business. Sources say the NFL and the Locked Out Officials Union met on Sunday in possible efforts for a new collective bargaining agreement or additional negotiations. For a quick catch-up, the NFL locked out their officials after the contract expired earlier in June, meaning the league has been using replacement officials. As Week 3 came to an end, there has been consistent criticism over the way some of the games have been dealt with in regular season. Prior to the Sunday kickoff, the NFL Players Union called for an end to the lockout with an open letter to team owners. 
but on Sunday, further upsetting calls were made during the games by new officials. According to records, some of these replacement officials neglect to have previous work in the NFL, as well as work in any college games. Replacement officials admitted to making only two mistakes during the Minnesota win over San Francisco. Needless to say, a few remaining games included additional questionable calls that could have affected a serious difference in the game outcome. Last week, the league warned teams that they refused to tolerate any confrontation or negative behavior directed towards new officials. It was a tough weekend for replacement officials when the Seattle Seahawks won against the Green Bay Packers 14-12 in Monday night's game. Quarterback Russell Wilson threw an uncertain 24-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Golden Tate on the final play of the game. Wilson had thrown to the corner of the end zones as the clock expired. Tate had shoved a Green Bay defender out of the way, then wrestled with M.D. Jennings for possession. After a lengthy review on the field, it was ruled as a touchdown. Nearly 10 minutes later, both teams were brought back to the field for an extra point. Seattle won its second straight, while Green Bay managed to break its streak of wins in six straight road openers. Just when it seemed that coaches, fans, and players couldn't get any angrier with the officials, Monday night's game turned upside down to the overall complaints of the weekend. Green Bay coach Mike McCarthy claims that he has never seen anything like that in all his years in football. The final decision of the game is only going to fuel the debate about the replacement officials, as the end of the football weekend was filled with a handful of unclear calls. So are you excited about the soccer game? There's a tailgate this Friday. We play JU. I heard about this tailgate. You know, I've never been to a tailgate here, so I'll definitely have to go. And I heard that there's free food, which mm -hmm. obviously I'll be there for that. <laughs> we also have one. shirts. Oh, yeah. Beat JU, All the more reason to go. Students. Free food and free shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out our website at unfmedia.com. And also make sure you like our new Facebook page, facebook.com slash unfmedia. Thank you for tuning in and checking in with us anytime you need your news now. Have a great day, UNF.